There's a couple of little tricks with importing the course template that you need to pay attention to. First of all, if you open up the course template, you'll notice that there's lots and lots of information on here. Now, the first thing I'm going to notice is that my um, blocks here are out of 15. So I've got 15 blocks, one for a couple of weeks and then tutorials. So there's lots and lots of information. You'll also notice that there's 9.1 to 9.5 and 10.1 to 10.5, which is important because it splits the classes. But you obviously don't want 9.1 and 9.5 there and 10.1 and 10.5 there as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the standard course. And you'll notice that when you create a new course, the standard number of blocks is 7. So if we import this course directly to um, the new course without changing the number of blocks, what will happen is anything that's from block 8 to block 15 will go under this top block here. So it's not quite as organized as the course template. What you need to do, first of all, is go here to settings. And in the settings, you can change things like the name and things like that. You can also change the number of weeks topics. Now, the course template has... 15, but I'm going to add 16 because my week I might have more weeks than five weeks, and that means that you've got one left over at the end anyway. If you don't use it, you don't use it. So I'm going to use 16, and I make sure I save changes. So now on my on my new course I have 16 blocks. Now what I need to do now is go to import on the side. And I'm going to down, go down here to search courses and I'm going to search for course template. Now, over here I've got course template and I want to use this course. Now, the reason that I pointed out that we have on our standard course is 9195 and 101 to 105 is that you can actually select these here not to import. So here I've got choices, tutorial name and class. I'm going to get rid of the first three because I'm doing a year 10 course, not a year 9 course. So that's this bit here, the groups. So I've only got the three second lot, which are the year 10 groups here. Another thing I'm going to do here is the groups, and I'm going to uncheck 9596. I'm going to leave check 101 through to 106, and the same thing with the knows and needs to know. You don't have to do this, you can delete them later, but I find that doing it here is a little bit easier than deleting nine different things. I'm going to leave everything else, make sure my course file says yes, and hit continue. After a while, it'll ask you to continue again. If you don't continue again, it won't work, so make sure you hit continue again. It's copying takes a while and still copying do, 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 do. this is probably where I'd normally open my email and check my email but I'm not going to do that on a video done okay so if I go down here now I can hit continue again My internet's very slow today. Don't worry about the fact this happens again. That needs to happen again. It's all the checks. And hit continue, and we have here our PM Online page. So this is now the respect course for year 10. And I can do things like straight away go in and change the name of the project. And I have my groups here are only there, my needs to know only have year 10. Beautiful.